Hey, has it ever been an instance where we got the bookie and whatnot, right? That doesn't I don't know really what you're fight. talking about. What's the bookie? I don't a even bookie know. meaning I, you know, loan shark. Oh, I you, have no idea what you you're, mean. You're, uh, we can't. Oh, no. No idea what you're saying. Okay, that's right. The mafia don't exist now. Okay, all right. Don't ask me about my business, Kate. Is it true? Don't ask me about my business. No. Yo, what up, what up? This is G Fella. You watching this is 50.com. How you doing? Good. Track it tearing. Let's go. And it ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Yeah. Jackie the Eye. Yo, G Fella Street, put me on the green sign, man. On this G Fella road, stay out G Fella lane. With a feed on the concrete, a laying in the sand. Waves keep coming at me, I'm a well known man. I always be like, my status incredible. Facebook, cause I'm sellable. Team credible. Oxymoron, it's a stand up city. And I'm feeling real good, like a handful of titty. And I ain't going nowhere, like the comp that's against me. We start as the finishes, your whole style benchy. So gently, put your mic down and back the fuck up. Roll off and find your body back at dump trucks. Forget about it, man. I'm loved and I'm feared. So don't get pricky like mustaches and beards. Mike and Knuckles toss you right out on your ears. When the streets talk, I guess you'd be the first one to hear. Gfella.com. How you doing? Man, feeling good like a handful of titties. What were they like anyway? They look pretty good. Are they real? Are they built for speed or for comfort? What'd you do with them? Motorboat? You play the motorboat? <laughs> You motorboat son of a bitch, you old sailor, you. There's a, a, a Disney movie that all the Sopranos made, and it's called Nikki's Nikki something. And it's about a kid from Harvard who comes stay with his uncle, and he becomes a bookie. He has no idea about being Italian. He didn't even know he was Italian. That's how crazy he grew up. And he made believe he was a bookie and was going collecting from all these bad dudes, but he made them tricked him that he was like a badass but he was like the softest kid on the planet and with a little help from his friends he's going from the door just answer a question with another question to the deuce does that ever happen in real life though who knows who knows you got to use this you got to man you're gonna make me think too hard off of this <laughs> motherfucker. that's the only thing man if you tripping me out but y'all italians everything got to be a riddle when y'all ain't talking to y'all own people and shit yeah i don't know man. why y'all be doing that man why y'all so tight with just each other no, I'm tight with everybody, what man. Everybody? I love everybody. I hear You're that. my Sicilian brother. Man, you, you promise? Jackie the Eye. Yeah, I'm Jackie the Eye. Yeah, that's it, baby. Jackie the that's, that's my That's my own. That's your nickname. That's my Italian nickname. I'm that's Jackie it. the Eye. That's Jackie the Eye. Watch out. Why they call me Jackie the Eye, man? It's always know. a crazy story behind it. Let him know. Let him know. Let him know. When, when, when he would go to collect, he would take off his glasses and go, I got something in my eye. I and something. then they'd be like, oh, shit, hold on. Let me let me just give you what I'm going to give you for the loan that I'm going to take next month, the VIG now. I like that. I like yeah, that. man. It's hey, whole do intimidation. I have something in mind? I got, my, I, got, I, got a, I got a dickhead in my eye. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at you that. the dickhead. Look at that. You in my eye. Oh, okay. Boom. That's fierce. In my eye. Yo, that's fierce, man. I'm this telling is. you. De Niro, move over, man. Move over. Talking to me? Well, who the hell else are you talking? Talking to me? Yo, let's 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 talk about you know, what you Queen Latifah. You were part of the unit. Yes. The flavor unit. When yep. She had, uh, how, how did you get in the unit, man? How did you even meet Queen Latifah? And was, what, what dude name? Shaquem, Shahid. Yeah, Shaquem, Shaquem, Queen Latifah. Yeah, basically, you know, they they were my management. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, one day I was on their TV show because Queen Latifah had a, uh, a talk show, if you remember. Yes, yeah, she did. Yeah, so right. I was in the audience, and you know, and they were talking about rappers and me. I just put my hand up. Boom, she came over. I took the mic, spit a little rap, and and then the next, I'm with Queen Latifah. Like that's how fast it happened. You know what I mean? Like what? Yeah, it was like that. And then they repped me, and you know we, you know we just toured the country, man. It was it was an amazing experience. This is what I need to know, man. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Did, did she have some hoes, man? Oh man, she, I you know I was in the she, front oh, of the bus. Now. You know her now on the bus, but yeah, you know. I was in the back of the bus. She was in the back of the bus. <laughs> white, that's why they making the white people sitting in the back of the bus. Yeah, yeah, I was in the back of the bus. Nah. <laughs> So that brings us up to you getting a situation with Fuse and, yeah. and Wyclef. How does that come about? 
Well, basically, first the Wyclef thing happened. I met Wyclef at a video shoot. I met his sister, Melky, Preem, which are uh, my management. Good people. You know, so that's my management. So basically, I met them, and, um, you know, I hit them with the package. You know, they saw a couple videos of mine. And when we showed it to them, they just got it. You know, you have to have an open mind. You have to, you know, like Clef and all these guys showed a video and they were like, yo, man, you know, I got, I got that feeling when I saw Eminem's first thing. Or I got that, you know, you doing it like I'm doing it for Haiti. You know, how Pun did it for Puerto Rico. How, you know, you're, you're the guy for the Italians. Like, you know, and, and, and they really just got the whole culture and originality thing, you know, that I'm doing. Now I'm in the station, they want information. My English not too good, officer. I'm a Haitian. I'm out on a seven of bitch, and I gotta call the freaking guy. They got a guy, they got a guy. They're making the charge and go by. Chow, chow, Mr. Officer. Woo. This was a close one. You kept your mouth to shut, eh? You're a good one. So once I met them and they got on board as management, then we started getting more, you know, um, organized. You know what I'm saying? And started thinking, all right, what are we trying to do? We're trying to, you know, get this social media popping, get this thing happening, you know, get some visibility, get people talking about me, you know, because we had everything else. We were at Z already with all the material and the, and the actual branding and everything, but we had to go backwards a little, get that social media going because that's where it is at that point. And then we did that, and it brought the attention of Fuse, which is a music network. You know, they're, they're very music driven. So that's what, you know, that's basically what happened. So, so you know, what happens is, is Fuse saw, like, yo, these guys is grinding. These guys is doing this. Like, we're a music network. Like, let's just go over there and put the cameras on. You know, let's. They're really doing this because I see the videos. I see the, what they're talking about. I see the pictures. You know, so it's just grind. G fellas in the building, let's go. I wanted to be the first influential Italian American hip hop artist. I decided to launch my own record label. Now it's just me and my crew in this crazy hip hop game. I'm the real G. So, man, I can't wait to see it. Is there anything you want to tell our This is 50 audience before we get out of here, man? I just want to tell you, man, make sure you tune in to that G thing, all right? July 24th, 11.30 p.m. every Wednesday on Fuse, only on Fuse. There it is. Like I always say, you just can't say you really something. You got to be G fella, man. Make sure you watch the G thing. We open, we out of here. 24. Hey, do I have something in my eye? Y'all go to commercial. Don't kiss the moles in the mouth unless you have to.